Hi, my name is Marcus Schmidt with West Unified Communications. I'm the Senior Director of Product and I'd like to welcome you to Whiteboard Fridays. So let's talk about Cisco Spark and how to deploy Cisco Spark in a hybrid scenario. We've done a previous video on this, but it was worth drilling down a little bit more and talking about the scenarios that are enabled with, with Cisco Spark in a, hybrid, in a hybrid world. Basically, you got Cisco Spark, the cloud service, hosted by Cisco, run in the Cisco cloud. You've got the West Cloud, where we'd have something like Voice Max CE to provide call control. And then you've got Exchange or Active Directory. Now, Exchange or Active Directory could be on-premise at your location, or it could be hosted somewhere else. It could be hosted as part of Microsoft's Office 365 Cloud. So you could have three different cloud solutions, or you could have a mix of some things that are on-prem. But basically what happens is, as you get the Cisco Spark Cloud joined up with the West Cloud, so you've got the Spark services for message and meeting, and you've got the West Cloud for calling, what that enables is the West Cloud to then communicate with your Exchange or Active Directory environment, regardless of whether it's in the Office Cloud, the Office 365 Cloud, or on-prem. When you connect to that, basically what you're enabling are three different scenarios. You're enabling calling, and specifically it's calling that's either call awareness or call control. So you've got the fact that if a call comes into your desk phone, Spark is aware that that call is going on, and your room, if you will, or your space with that person becomes active, and you can start doing meetings and sharing content. It also has the call control capability, so you can use Spark actually as a soft phone and start making and receiving calls. The second one is calendar. So this is one where you can go into a meeting in your Outlook calendar and put in at Spark or at WebEx, and that will actually talk back through your Exchange server, through the West Cloud into the Spark Cloud to get the information that needs to be pre-populated into that meeting. So instead of you having to go and get WebEx productivity tools or type in all the information or paste in all the information about your WebEx account or your Spark account, it just pre-populates that by you just typing at Spark or at WebEx. And the last one is directory integration. This is useful for the fact that you don't necessarily want to take all of your users that are in your Active Directory system, export them, and upload them to Spark, right? You want those two things to stay in sync, and you may even want to turn on single sign-on. That means that use the directory credentials that are in AD as your way of signing into Spark. So really, when you get the whole environment together, this Spark hybrid environment, where there's some Cisco Spark, there's some West Voice Max CE, and there's some things that are either hosted by you or hosted by Microsoft, it really brings together a really nice picture of calling, directory integration, and calendar integration. Integration. So we'd love to chat with you more about this. If you're interested in Spark, you've already got Voice Max C, you're looking at Voice Max C, and you've already got those Exchange and Active Directory assets in place, give us a call. We'd love to chat with you.